Hey guys, hi, welcome back once again. My name is Vaishali and today I'd like to talk about what's been your programming and who's been your programmer. Now when we talk of programming, we talk of our conditioning. The way we think and the way we feel is quite naturally influenced by a lot of factors. It's impacted by a lot of factors. Right from our family to our community to our religion to our educational institutions to our culture. Everything is an information which in a way informs and forms our belief systems and thereby our mindsets, which is both personal, intrapersonal and interpersonal, which is where of course it's shared between two and many people which is where some of our belief systems and thereby our mindset is commonly shared, which gives it a standard frame of reference and at the same time can be uniquely ours as well on a very intrapersonal level. So if you think about a program in terms of all of the information that we constantly download or that gets downloaded into us right from the time we are conceived, to the time we experience living our lives. There is tons of information that gets registered in us, both as explicit and as implicit memories. And many a times, both of these explicit and implicit memories becomes a part of our subconscious and our unconscious. At times, it gets retained in our conscious awareness, or rather, we are able to recollect it in our conscious awareness and most of the time since it's a part of our subconscious and our unconscious what scientists and psychologists and psychiatrists call it we are running on autopilot wherein most of the times we deliberately don't have to remember it but it just happens in an automatic way something very similar to the time when we first learn to walk when we first begin to take our baby steps, when it's a new thing that we are doing, we are consciously aware of every step that we take. We are consciously aware of the ways we get up. We are consciously aware of our movements. We are consciously aware of what to hold and when to let go when we think that we'll be able to walk a few steps. When we need to hold on to things, when we know that we have not yet mastered the skill of walking. And yet on an everyday basis, as we keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, we really don't have to think about it. We really don't have to think about the way we move, the way we hold things, the way we do not take support of things. We quite automatically do it. In a very similar way, most of the times, most of our lives is run on autopilot, is run on habits that have been built over time. And many a times, if we do take out the time to reflect on ourselves, if we take out the time to reflect on our belief systems, on our value systems, on our thought processes, on our thoughts, we would also realize that most of our thoughts are not originally ours. Most of our belief systems are not inherently and originally ours. And when I say ours, O-U-R-S, ours, I'm specifically implying to the part that I call as I, me and myself. We'll realize that most of our beliefs are not even ours. Most of our value system is not even ours. We'll realize that those belief systems, that mindset, those thought patterns, those value systems had been downloaded onto us or we had downloaded them at some point in time or the other through the course of our development. And many a times in my assumption, just like a computer would have no understanding as to who the original programmer of that particular program was, many a times we even don't know about all of the information that have been downloaded onto us. Many a times we don't even realize who the programmer or the programmers were who had made up those informations that we had downloaded or that had been downloaded onto us. So in order to understand this, let's take the example of the recently released movie, Teri Bato Mein Aisa Uljha 
wherein, of course, in a very obvious way, it's about addressing the human relationship with artificial intelligence, a romantic relationship between a human and an artificial intelligence, a human and an AI. And when I reflected on it, there was another part of the story that was not so obvious, that was a little more nuanced, that was a little more subtle, that started to emerge. That started to give me a different information that I'd probably missed out the first time I saw the movie. And just like they say that a story is never just one set of story, but it's an amalgamation of a lot of subplots. It's an amalgamation of a lot of stories that are waiting to be unpacked, that are waiting to be unfolded. And the other part of the story started to emerge in my head in the second half of the movie, wherein this particular robot, when first had been introduced to the boy's family, whom she's probably getting married to, goes on to state that she's just one year old. That as the movie progresses and unravels itself further, she goes on to register a police complaint against somebody who had stolen their tomatoes, is ready to burn down the entire capital of Delhi because somebody told her, Aaj to puri Delhi mein aag lagayegi, that you'll be putting the city of Delhi on fire. And exactly like that one-year-old AI, one-year-old Sifra, exactly in the similar way in the early developmental years of our life, we do not have the ability to discern. Whatever information is given is absorbed like a sponge, which kind of forms the formative years of our lives. Now think of connecting the word information and formation. It is in these early years that the foundation of the building gets laid. Exactly like the foundation of the building that is far below the ground level. That is not obviously and directly observable, but has to be dug up to be able to understand where the foundation lays. And since a ton of information has already been downloaded onto us, by the time we develop the ability to discern, it's quite difficult to know our belief systems. It's quite difficult to know our value systems. It's quite even difficult to understand our own intrapersonal mindset and thereby ourselves. If we do not slow down and mindfully reflect on most of the information, or at least some of the information that we have downloaded, that we have been programmed into, that are operating us and in our ignorance, we kind of think that we are the operators of all of our information. And at times, just like the hero of the story, the protagonist of the story, Shahid Kapoor, who had to dismantle his own AI, who had to dismantle the AI that he loved. It at times becomes necessary to dismantle our own belief systems, our own value systems, our own mindsets, our own programming, so that we give ourselves a chance to reassemble ourselves, to reassemble our own mindsets, to reassemble our own value system, to reassemble our own selves, so that one step at a time we are deliberately choosing to be the conscious creators of whatever the next programming, the next information that we want for ourselves. With a constant reminder of re-evaluating all of those things consistently, time and time again. If we wish to be the conscious creators of our lives, of our life choices, Let's try and think about the information that has formed our belief systems, the information, the programs that have formed our value systems, the information and the programs that have informed and formed our mindsets. And do they truly align with us and do we truly align with them? Let's try and reflect on that and I will see you once again the next week. Till then, stay tuned in. And guys, if you do like the contextual content of these videos, please do like, share and subscribe.